and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Hold on a minute, I need to close that that line. Hold on. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa. Thank you for stopping by. In today's video, I have an antique shopping and then a haul at the end. So, thanks for coming by and spending a little bit of time with me today. So, let's go ahead and get into that shopping.
guys enjoyed that little walkthrough and I didn't make you too sick or dizzy with my <laughs> quick panning. I didn't mean to if I did. Um, something about that place, it is, uh, used to be until probably about a year or two ago, it was called the Haggle Shop and it had tons and it was four stories. I don't know if I portrayed that in the video, but it was four stories and it had a lot of um, antique booths in it and a lot of, lot of, lot of older stuff. And um, so the lady that owned it sold it. And um, for, uh, I guess, maybe a couple years now, they've been working on it to um, reopen it, reopen it, but it's now called Hudson's General Store. And I didn't really get to show you a lot of the general store part because there was just so many people. And, um, but we did walk through and you guys saw one thing about this place and I loved it. Listen, they redid the floors. It's beautiful. It is so beautiful. But it's a little expensive. It's a little pricey for me. Um, I don't know about you all, but there there was just it was some of the tickets were like, you know, a shock. I bought this uh, bed spread and I think it's for a twin size bed. It's not big enough to fit, fit the queen bed that I have. But anyway, I got this because it is, I don't know if you can see the crochet part on there, but it's this part right here, the little dots. It's called, Chanel, not Chanel, Ch I'll have to look that up because I can't remember. I love it because it reminds me of when I was younger and at my grandmother's house. Um, but... I mean, it's just pink, and it's got the pretty detail on it, and I don't know where I'm going to put it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I'll figure something out, but I just know I loved it, and it was $15 or so. To me, that was a really good price. We've already washed it, and it smells great. So, that's the first thing. And then the last thing we got at the general store um, was this vase. Um, I love blue things. <laughs> Everything blue. Blue's my favorite color. And this is a vase, and this will go in my summer de decor. I'm fixing to do a video of my summer decor, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I just love it, and I think it's pretty. And I'm growing wild, fl wild flowers out in my garden, and I hope to use this and that for for my flowers, my daughter. Okay, and then the rest of this came from an estate sale. My sister-in-law and brother-in-law. Um, got this first bunch for me they got mm, let's see 12, 12 times 3 oh, it's 36 they got 36 mason jars for $15 and if you do any kind of canning you know what a steal that is and they got it at a um, estate sale and a lot of the jars are really old they have the, they're the atlas mason jar and I just think those are so neat I should have grabbed one of those but the um, the neck on them is a little more squared than round um, I think even for the, I think it's the, <coughs> the, um, regular mouth jars. But anyway, they got me all of those and I'm excited because canning is just around the corner for me. And so I'm very appreciative of that. <coughs> Emily, will you go get my water? <coughs> huh? On the counter. The next thing that they got was this little... It looks like a little cauldron. <laughs> I think it's so cute. And the next few items that I have to show you are the hobnail milk glass. Thank you. Um, I love the hobnail milk glass. I'm not a fan of the other milk glass, and there's so much out there. But I do like the hobnail ones. And this right here was so cute. It says $2, but I think she got everything half price and I think <coughs> so I, I'm actually thinking about using this in my um, fall de decor with like a pumpkin or something on it I just think it's so cute so so cute you're gonna have to get her because she's gonna I did nothing. Hold on. okay I'm back anyway this is my little cauldron and I can't wait to get my fall decor I'm gonna set it in my fall decor another thing that she got was this tiny little vase. I don't have, she knows that I love this stuff. And I told her once before that I didn't have room for any more, 
but I will definitely make room if she brings me more because I just love this stuff and I just think this is so stinking cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's definitely going in my collection and my decor. Now this right here, I do know what I'm going to do with this. It's just like a little tray of some sort, very heavy. Um, it's the milk glass hobnail. There, I think there are signs, and this actually looks like one of it, where you can tell it's the authentic fin, fin, fin so what is it? Goodness, I need to, should have wrote notes down. It starts with an F. Um, anyway, I think this is like the authentic, it's not like a replication of something from a long time ago. Anyway, my plans for this is to use it on my dresser for like, you know, earrings and rings and stuff like that, Jewel, jewelry when I take it off. So, I love that. I think it's so beautiful. Okay, and then these next few things. Yeah, next few things my husband got at, I think it was the same estate sale. She had went on a Friday, which means her stuff probably wasn't half off. And then my husband went on Saturday. And so, the first thing he got was these two hobnail milk glass candle holders. I have two of these already, and one of them, of the ones that I have, was my grand, uh, not my grandfather, my father-in-law's, that was his parents, and um, so I have that one, and then I've got these two, and I have an idea of something that I want to do, especially around Christmas time, with the four of them, so you'll have to stay tuned for that, but I got those, and then he got, I think this is a set, it is a, it looks like a a, yeah, it's a set. I can tell by the detail on the, on the top of it. Um, creamer, sugar and creamer. And I just, I mean, it's just cute. Uh, that's all I know. I was, it's just cute. And it'll go on display in my, um, on my shelf, which I'll show you guys when I do my, um, summer decor. Anyway. And I think that is all of the hobnail. And then the last thing he got... At the estate sale, my daughter bought me a um, record player because I love records. I love the sound of an old record. And um, my favorite time to listen to the record player is at Christmas time. So she, I mean, my husband got this at that same estate sale. It is Country Christmas Christmas. And um, it's got a lot of the old Southern Gospel singers, the Goodman Family Inspirations, Rex Newland singers, Cathedral Quartet, Florida Boys, Lewis Family, Wendy Bagwell and the Sunlighters, that's going way back, um, B.J. Thomas, Jimmy Davis, and Mercy River Boys. Those last three, B.J. Thomas, Jimmy Davis, and Mercy River Boys, I don't know if I've ever heard of them, but I can't wait to listen to this. And then... He got me this classic, let's see, Canaan Classics, and it is um, the Goodman Family, Rex Neyland Neal Singers, a lot of the same people on this one, um, singing some of the old hymns, What a Beautiful Day, Come Morning, I'm Standing on the Solid Rock, and I just, I really enjoy listening to these, so he got those two for me. And then, one other thing um, that I saved the best for last, uh, my husband this wasn't at an estate sale. This was at a different um, antique shop, thrift store type thing. And he found this item that I'm going to have to stand up and show you because it's way too big for me to hold. So hold on just one second. Okay, this is what he got. It is an old cedar chest. And I think it's beautiful. We talked about maybe paint it, painting it to go with the white in our bedroom. I know I, my daughter's behind me whispering no. I said no too because I just love, we do have a few wood things in our um, bedroom and I just think that this is just accentuates it, huh? Yeah, it goes with our mirrors. We have some gold rim mirrors in here. Anyway, I love it. It's an old cedar chest and it was beautiful when he bought it, but it was even more beautiful when I cleaned it up and I already got a few things in there and I'm just, we just love it. So that is the last thing on this antique shopping weekend. And um, we just had a really good time. If you guys like videos like this, I would love it if you'd like this video. And if you haven't 
subscribe to my channel please subscribe i do all kinds of things antique shopping and hauls um cleaning cooking just a lot of different things and if you want to be a part of that i would love to have you so subscribe and thanks for joining me today hope you'll have a good one bye